Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running accounting and open source accounting and invoicing software in Docker. To get started, log into the device where we're going to install Docker. We use apt install to install a few prerequisite packages required to get Docker installed. Then we'll add the Docker GPG key and apt repository. Followed by another apt install to install Docker, Docker Compose, and Containerd. With the Docker packages installed, we'll make sure the Docker service is started and enabled. Add the current user to the Docker group, then re-authenticate the current user for the group change to take effect. We're now ready to start creating containers. We'll start by creating working directories for our containers to store their persistent data in. Then we'll use wget to download the default m file for accounting. We'll set ownership on our working directories. Then we'll use the docker run command to start a MariaDB database backend container. Next, we'll edit the accounting n file using the nano editor. Using the video description as a guide, update the app URL, database configuration, and company configuration in the m file. Once completed, save your changes and close out of Nano. Now we'll use another docker run command to create the accounting container. Once the accounting container is running, open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the docker host, colon 8080. Log in with the email address and password set in the M file. In the setup wizard, configure your company or scroll down and select skip this step. Configure your currencies, then click next, and click next on the taxes page as well. And finally, click the create your first invoice button. Welcome to accounting, running containerized in Docker.